Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Looks like you're running late. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Greetings! Ah, here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you in the test chamber. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today. Yes, but with good reason. If you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. We have complete confidence in you. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. to stage one emitters in three, two, one. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, it's probably not a problem, probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy in, well, no, it's well within acceptable bounds again. Sustaining sequence. I've just been informed that the sample is ready. It should be coming up to you any moment now. Get away from the 